Welcome back to One Man's Life Mission. Uh, before we kick it off, I'm Dave. This channel is dedicated to giving you no BS, novel dating advice from a modern man. Top link in the description to get some coaching with me. This is a testimonial. Uh, we just did a, well, we've got 24 hours kind of left uh, of a, uh, what is it, boot camp or immersion for the last seven days. Uh, and we're just going to kind of run through what happened. Um, and so. So, how do you feel? How's the legs? Let's start with the legs, I think that's a good start. How's the um, legs going? My hamstring is a bit sore. I'm tired as well. I'm tired of having sex with two <laughs> different girls. Actually, I just had sex like a couple of hours ago with a new girl <laughs> I met. So yeah, we are, we are actually on a mission. One, man, <laughs> one life of man's mission. Um, our mission is to find different regional girls mm. and we have two remaining one is from South America another is from African mm. uh, regions so we had I had oh, sorry I had lays from white race Indian race and um, what which one was the other one oh yeah Asian Asian, Asian Japanese yeah, yeah. One. Australian, Japanese, Indian, um, but I will, I will want to clarify that uh, a lot of guys they talk about results on say boot camp or immersions. I don't think that the results are as important as uh, like running through the process because I feel like if anything, if he had got a lot more exposure training to rejection um, uh, because he had a lot of approach anxiety and still does somehow like working through that would have been far more effective but yeah getting laid three times in a, a week's uh, pretty good already but uh, the the real challenge is after I leave like can he still um, approach and maintain what it what we've built up over the last you know, week that's the real challenge right yeah. um, so it's more the process. Um, is there? Is can you remember anything that I, I taught you? <laughs> oh man! I've crammed a lot in there, I, so I feel like this I, is a test. I feel like Dave, <laughs> like always, talks about game. He's a degenerate <laughs> MF, to be honest. Like um, I picked him up from another city. I'm not sure if I am allowed to tell the name of the city where we uh, first started gaming. Oh yeah, I don't think it matters. But yeah, yeah we we, we, yes. we did a bit of traveling. Yeah, so we traveled <laughs> small uh, towns and tried to pull country bush girls. Mm, everything. <laughs> everything. Yeah. And yeah, mm. it was nice. A uh, new um, experience for me. Um, a bit backstory of mine. Um, before meeting Dave, I had boot camp. Um, I started gaming on March of this year. I had boot camp for three days with another. Um, and I was UA. assistant coach on that yeah. one too. And it was mm. good, but I felt like it wasn't depth enough. So after but after that boot camp, you got laid. I did mm. get laid. I got laid. I had my first cold mm. approach laid with a Kiwi girl in my city. Um, yeah, but after that, uh, the COVID started and I just couldn't do anything. I, just, I was home. And then uh, everything went back to normal and my approach anxiety went back to normal, to mm. extreme. And I was very depressed. I was crying all day, all night. Um, mm. Just crying, didn't have any friends. Even though I had friends, I just flaked on most of them because I was very depressed. So, um, and then I started watching some of the Dave's videos and I started talking with Dave. Dave was giving me a lot of motivation. Um, yeah, that motivated me to go out because I was very introverted and I had a lot of anxiety. And Dave motivated me to go out and I went out, couldn't approach, just uh, cried all day in my car. And then, yeah, and then um, I tried to pursue Dave to coach me 
and Dave was like living 1,000 kilometers away, and I couldn't go to Dave because there was a there still is a um, restriction with water and all. So yeah, I went to Dave. I drove 10 hours just to meet Dave. I went to uh, Dave. We um, started approaching. We I didn't have much results because of the anxiety and all. And mm. yeah, we just 10, 12 hours each day, we just went out every day, all day. And, and it came to a point that I was so tired. My body couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> and I just went to sleep at 4 p.m. It's a boot camp, okay? It's, a, it's called a boot camp for a reason. It's not a three hour long <laughs> session. It's, uh, 10 hours who, who, it's more than 10 hours like we just keep going until you just like yeah, Dave is like collapse. a robot we just keep approaching we keep tweaking it we go through everything that's why I was testing you I was like so what did I tell you can you remember it because it, it was just things. so much over so many hours but the real test isn't now so like if I tell you guys okay well he got three lays that's awesome awesome boot camp no because um, at the end of the boot camp, <clears throat> Vigo's back and has approach anxiety and doesn't actually enjoy, you know, like lets it build up so you don't approach. Um, there is a saying, mm. the sweet art of sweet art approach. Of approach. <laughs> yeah. 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 So mm. the game is like you will be in high point. I'm right now, I'm at the highest point of the game a beginner can go so after Dave will leave subconsciously I would go down so uh. it's my duty to go from up down to slowly gradually go up uh. because um, it takes time to um, overcome the anxiety uh. and we've kind of, we're working on locking in two regulars at the moment and so therefore you'll have uh, a few girls that are like regulars so he's like got constant girls girls around him constantly you know constant sex and exposure to women and then going out and meeting new girls and continuously you know uh, bringing new girls in uh, so we need the machine bringing them in all the time through cold approach um, yeah. not mentally masturbating online like looking at not and masturbating online yeah that's another <laughs> one but mental masturbation with watching too much theory and uh, swiping right on tinder too much uh, because that's only going to get girls mainly beneath your mate value making sure that he takes action because we've got like a system set up like a routine on how you can approach every day um, how how do I to, how are you supposed to approach? Yeah. What's what's the strat? What's the most important thing about approaching? It's a test. It's the approach. Um, what's what? Well, it's not approach. It's well approach with anxiety. Obviously, approaching. If you can't approach, you can't do anything. But after you approach, what's the the most important thing with the cold approach? I said it like a billion times. He said so many <laughs> stuff, it's very hard to remember everything. There's one he, thing that I keep repeating of the approach. Logistics. Oh yeah. <laughs> it came to me subconsciously. <laughs> logistics. logistics. That's like number one. That's number one. Yeah. So, um, about uh, Dave. I've never t told Dave this, what I'm going to say on camera. Oh. Good timing then. Yeah. So Dave <laughs> gives hundred percent of his um, time ability. He will give everything what he learned in twenty years of learning game. I couldn't tell that when I first met Dave in the uh, boot camp with another pickup artist. Um, I just thought he is just an old bum who doesn't know he is a <laughs> wannabe artist or something. I didn't know that because you can't tell. He's actually I'm just a fucking bum. He, he <laughs> tries to um, make himself look like a, he doesn't know shit, but he has a very high IQ, which I got to know uh, in the middle of our immersion. So yeah, don't take Dave 
too softly because he will come at you <laughs> very hard. Mm. So yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so we covered a lot of ground. What do you remember that I taught you? Because if he's, this is the exam. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of stuff, but with cold approach, you just gotta go and just approach. Especially the first sec, first and second approach will be the hardest at first. But when you overcome your second approach, it will be very easy. You you. From inside, you want to approach. You will feel like you want to approach more girls, just to be mm. on the zone. Oh, you can't be on the zone. You have to yeah. be always mm. subconsciously mm. just mm. Uh, feel like to approach. Not you. Not, you can't be on the zone because um, yeah, I don't believe in warm ups. Or yeah, warm ups. I, I used to warm up state. a lot. Yeah, instead it doesn't work. Mm. It works, but uh, as soon as you are in the state, you will go down as well. Mm. Yeah, so you have to be always in the center. Mm. Um, I used to um, like pick up artist videos, masturbate a lot, like you know, masturbating mm. videos, like not porn. I'm not mental masturbating. Mentally yeah. masturbating. I used to watch watch those a lot, and it really f makes you feel good about yourself when you're watching. But when you go to the real world where there are actual girls, you wouldn't be able to approach them. Mm. It's otherwise. But I stop everything. I don't watch anything. I just um, stay with Dave. Um, yeah, just we just go outside and feel the atmosphere and go and approach. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I think taking action. Yeah, like half an hour sitting at home watching videos or whatever, or. Um, Half an hour walking around, talking to girls, um, is is far better. Obviously, yeah. So, um, what did what did you learn? What did you learn? So so far, you've learned approach, which I think everyone can teach you. Don't be in state. Um, there is no can, can lines. lines. No can lines. No can lines. Um, which is lo logistics tough. of the approach. Yeah. Logistics is number one, not you know. Yeah, the canned line, not using canned lines, mm. that was very hard for me because of mental masturbation. Mm. And yeah, most of the pickup artists will tell you to use canned, canned lines, lines, but yeah. what will happen, they will work sometimes, they will work one out, uh, out of four, but what will happen, you will not spontaneously you, uh, use a line. What you, you have to. Use the uh, environment, in, yeah, in environmental openers, yeah. and that's, that's best. Improvise, improvise, mm. yeah, mm. yeah. That's uh, that. Uh, we ran through strategy of locking them in, yeah, locking the girls in. Um, I don't know if we should say it. Um, we've got a simp strategy. Yeah, simp strategy simp for locking strategy. in. Maybe, maybe don't tell them they're going to think we're sims. Yeah. Um, a strategy of locking in girls that you date or you pick up. Um, I still feel like I'm in a pop-up dream which might break at any time. Like two years ago or during two hours of me living in Australia, I had two legs. One was from... Uh, Tinder, another was from a friends or friends uh, acquaintance. I had just two legs, and during our immersion, I already have three legs, which we already spoke about. So it's kind yeah. of um, amazing what a coach and positive mindset mm. can do to a person. Oh, another thing is yeah, uh, understanding your value as a man. Yeah. Uh, uh, you you don't treat them good until they treat you good. If they treat you know frame battles, yeah. we went through a frame battle today oh, as well. Oh yeah, that went through a frame world. battle. Or wouldn't wouldn't yeah. have worked unless you won the frame battle. We went to war today, by the way. Yeah, it was war. It was war. I won the war, by the way. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> he won the war. It was war. It was war. Mm. And you didn't know you were in a war. No. That's the thing. A lot of men don't even know it's it's a battle. Yeah. Mm. 
Mm. So yeah, we covered quite a lot of ground, um, and uh, and then uh, having two girls come back to your apartment and how to run it. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. There is a um, remember that technique. Too? Like, should I say the technique or is it um, a secret? Oh, I don't know. I, I think um, just wear the party, not the girls. Yeah. You know, so the girls come to us. We attract them to us. Wear the party. The girls are they're here to enjoy our party. You know, we're bringing them to our party, so we made the party us. <laughs> yeah. And then next thing you know, she couldn't look him in the eyes. Uh, Too intimidated. Kakoi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she always used to. She still calls me Kakoi whenever we DM or talk over the phone. Kakoi means handsome in Japanese. Yeah, you don't have to be handsome. Like you just have to use your game, mm. use your verbal techniques. Yeah. Um, what else we cover? Because <laughs> we, we, we covered a lot, so much. we covered so like, much. Yeah, you gonna remember everything. Yeah. Though. <laughs> After Dave leaves, I will just sleep one day, maybe twenty hours. <laughs> um, yeah, well, the real uh, proof is in what happens after a boot camp or an immersion. That's the real uh, test. What you do with it. So if you just, you know, you got to continue going with the strategy afterwards. Um, another thing I don't, I, 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 I warn against is going into the groups and seeking validation from other men. Um, uh, going into the groups and after you start to get your game off the ground, like base level, going in and hanging out with other gamers, because it's, um, they're, they're, they're going to teach you things that are, you know, like I'm, there's a lot of things probably that I we went through that go totally against what you yeah. know the community or the yeah. guys out there believe in 90 percent of the community we mm. went against them we did like things that yeah. just yeah because it's all just wrong it's <laughs> most wrong. of it's wrong and i guess the proof's in the pudding yeah you know the yeah. evidence of the results um um and yeah i think that i think that's pretty much covers it yeah. yeah. Um, before we finish the video, um, yeah, Dave might look stupid and dumb, Ooh. which he is not. I do. Look I, I felt like that as well. <laughs> he hasn't still paid me anything to say all this. And I'm actually paying everything for him, <laughs> from coffee <laughs> to food to top. Uh, boost juice, everything, Airbnb, stay, everything, I'm paying everything, he hasn't paid me a single dime, so yeah, that's coming from my heart, so um, yeah, he looks stupid, and um, the way, especially the way he dresses up, I don't like it at all, I don't like it at all, but he still gains, I'm working like, on my fashion, I, yeah, his game is very in advanced level, so he doesn't need to dress up, although he's like 40 years old, but like the rotation of girls he has, those are high caliber girls. I even I don't have those type of girls. Period. Is this a compliment? I don't know. <laughs> That's from my heart, man. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, energy level. Energy. Level. Night game versus gutter yeah, game. Gutter game. Yeah. Whether the girls are. Like, That's another thing. That probably the last one. Yeah. Uh, energy levels. Do you need to be in state? Do you need to pump yourself up? Or it's like, we can just walk along having a coffee and then we got some drunk girls come along and then it's like, boom, into... Yeah, mm? like that. Um, mm. yeah, yeah, that's very important too. Yeah, you gotta know you gotta how to act. act. How to mm. act. It's um, acting, yeah. Acting, yeah. So, to get to that high, I, I'm still um, not into that technique like I haven't mastered that technique yet mm. but um, I have seen Dave how he goes from low energy to boom he, as soon as he sees two or a group of girls he just boom he just goes high energy Woo, party after party <laughs> yeah um, that, mm. that's how we got a lot of number close um, girls mm. so yeah I say 
subtle art of game, mm. I would say. So yeah, mm. just keep practicing and consistency really matters in game. Mm. Yeah, well, uh, I guess that's it. That's it. That's, yeah, that's it. Uh, if you like this uh, video, click the subscribe button. Um, uh, my autobiography is in the description somewhere and top link in the description to get some coaching with me. I'll see you guys in the next video.